Hello you guys, welcome back. It's been a long time. I've kind of taken a break as I've just lived life and I've had so much fun posting on BookTok lately that I thought I would transfer it over to BookTube. So here we are. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe, follow my BookTok account. I'll leave the name here or in the description. Thank you for being here. For the past few months I've been doing TBR jar, but it's in a mug, don't tell anyone, videos uh, for my TBR every month on TikTok, but I thought it'd be really fun to do it here instead, this month at least. I just have prompts written out. Oh, we're not going to count that as a chosen one because it wasn't meant to be. Okay. I have it in this really cute mug. Be joyful always. That's always the goal. And if you haven't seen my bookshelf before, hi, welcome. Um, so the top two shelves are things that I've already read. If you want a preview of what I read in January so far, probably everything I'm going to read in January right now, um, here's that stack. And then the bottom two rows right here are my TBR shelves. So this is what we'll be choosing from. So prompt number one. Please be a good one. And because you're a part of this, you get to read it first. Uh, and then I try to read it backwards. A book you don't know anything about. Oh. Oh. Um. Well, what does that even mean, though? Because, like, I know what most of, like, their plots are. But, like, there's a lot of books I haven't heard other people talk about. So does that what that mean? Like, what did I mean when I wrote this? I think I'm going to choose Malibu Rising for this one because... I don't really know anything about it. <laughs> so there you go. I read like, you know, like the back of the book. So I have an idea, but I've always been so confused by it. But I'm like, what's, I'm confused. What's the plot? What's going on? So, a book I don't know anything about. <laughs> that would be rising. Should I like stack them somewhere visible so you can see? Is that pleasant for you? Prompt number two. Also, I'm gonna do eight prompts because I'm trying to go through my TBR and like get it moving so that I can buy more, you know? Do, do, do. Okay, ready to read? It's like give an author a second chance. I don't like that one. Give an author a second chance. I'm going to choose Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. Now listen, I love Christina Lauren. I want to read a ton of Christina Lauren books. I've read Love and Other Words by them, loved it, In the Holidays, loved it. But I also read Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. And it wasn't good. I'm just, it, I mean, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't good. It, it just lacked a lot. So, for that reason, I'm going to give them a second chance <laughs> and read Twice in a Blue Moon, which I haven't heard anyone talk about this either, but like, it's second chance romance. I know at least she's an actor, I don't know if he is too, I don't know, but it's perfect. I'm an actor and I love reading. Pick a good one, please, for me. It's a long one. Is a really long one okay a book that starts with the letter of the month so this is oh a book that starts with the first letter of the month so february s do i have i don't know if i'm gonna have anything that starts with an f oh i don't want to read this though Okay, we have three options. Iron Flame, I don't know if that fully counts as the second word, Fangirl, and The Fury. So, fantasy. I think this is like, you know, young adult, contemporary romance. I do want to read this. I just, I started it a while ago. I read 30 pages and just like stopped. And then I also have a thriller, The Fury. I wanted to read a good thriller and like I read a few in January but they just like weren't hitting. What do I want to read? 
Jesus. I feel like I need to give Fangirl a second chance. Because, like, I think I would like it. I just need to get into it, you know? And the inside cover art, like, how, how beautiful is that? And, like, the way he's holding her, too. Like, I'm a, I'm a romance girl at heart, you know? That's my tried and true. Um, so I know this isn't, like, a full, like, I don't think romance is, like, the strongest plot in here. I think that's, you know, subplot, I think. But we're gonna go fangirl for February. Let's pick up the pace, guys. Come on, you're, you're really slacking here. Second chance romance. Oh, I, I, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love it when I get to pick a book that I'm so excited to read. Um, no offense, guys. No hard feelings. But Powerless by Elsie Silver. Yes, please. Number five. Book number five. What shall you be? Ooh, they're interlocked. Okay. A book with green on the cover. That could also be fangirl. Guys, you're really not cooperating here. Ooh, okay. There's leaves. There's leaves that are green. I see this spells love. I mean, it's like a blue green, but this is a green color. Ooh, the grim effect. She's wearing a green hat. Mm, I'm debating between unfortunately yours, the green leaves, or this spells love. Like, I want to read it, but I haven't really been fully in the mood to. This one is a Tessa Bailey book, so of course I really want to read it. I don't know. Why am I so stressed? This is not a big deal. This is, this is not life or death. It's just a book. Reading is fun. Reading is meant to be fun not stressful. I think for the mood I'm in, I'm gonna go with Tessa Bailey. I just want cute, fluffy, fun, flirty romance. And based off of other books I read by Tessa Bailey, I think that's what I'm gonna get. This one, I mean, is I'm excited to read one day, but I just don't wanna go through the whole journey of the whole spell and that stuff, I don't know. Two more. Let you read this one. Okay, what is it? Tell me. The newest book on your shelf. I don't even, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure the newest book on my shelf is Iron Flame. Yeah. So I got it last week? Yes. And I'll be honest, I don't know how much I really want to read this. Like I do eventually. I just, I've heard a lot of bad things about it not being all that great. That fourth wing was better. I love fourth wing and I don't want to be let down. And it's also like a 600 page book. That's a lot for me. And so I'm a slow reader and I'm not, um, I'm a newbie fantasy reader. So this intimidates me and the fact that not everyone loves it scares me. So we'll, we'll Tack her on right there. Pump number seven. Do you like that sound? Or does that sound gross about? Oh. Okay. A, oh, no pictures on the cover? Just words? Okay. You try reading that backwards and flip it around, it's hard. I feel like all of them have a picture on it. That's a picture, that's a picture. I mean, that's a picture, that's a picture. I mean, technically, there's The Defining Decade. It's a nonfiction book about how to make your 20s count. Um, so there's that. There's no pictures on that, for sure. Do these count as pictures? The graphics? Because it's not like a picture. It's like a little graphic drawing thing. I mean, it's a I don't really want to read this. <laughs> I don't know if this... Counts. I really want to put this on my TBR for February because it's just giving like Valentine's Day. I don't think it takes place in Valentine's Day, but it just gives the vibes of that. So I really want to read this in February. I'm like there's not really a picture. I know this one, like for sure. I know there's no pictures. It's it's clear. I wish I knew what I meant when I wrote these prompts out like in August. It's my TBR. I make the rules. I'm picking the wedding date. <laughs> 
but it seems really fun. It seems, um, it's like, a, I think, a fake wedding date. So it just seems fun and like Valentine's Day. I'm adding it. Okay, last prompt for February. Be a good one, please, for me. Okay. A book you've heard mixed reviews about. Okay, well, I am fine. I genuinely don't think I have, except for Iron Flame, I don't think I have a book. I mean, maybe it ends with us, but like, maybe the Graham Effect, to be honest. I feel like I've heard from people be like, oh, I love it, it's the best book ever, and other people be like, eh. So that's the definition of mixed reviews, right? Um, I think I'm gonna choose the Graham Effect. Even though she's a brick, we love a, a, a thick woman. If you couldn't tell from my TBR, I'm really trying to go for romance in February. I just want to read romance. I tried like a few different genres in January and it was really fun, but I just want to read romance right now. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have our TBR. So in review, we have Malibu Rising, Twice in a Blue Moon, Fangirl, Unfortunately Yours, Powerless, <laughs> Iron Flame, The Wedding Date, and The Grim Effect. So these are all of the books that I'm going to try to read in February. Keyword try. I'm excited because I have a video planned this month. Um, that I'll be able to read some of these in and I think it'll be really fun and then I can also knock off my February TBR and my physical TBR. Boom. Okay, I need to put these down. They are so heavy. It could be a freaking workout here. Who says book girls aren't tough? Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. I am so excited to read these books and to make more videos this month. And I hope to see you there when I post them. Bye.